DJ's Boo Breakfast. Yeah! joining us in the <laughs> studio but we'll, we'll we'll start it off nice and light Karen um, you have a long history in administration uh, probably the first administrator we've had all month actually tell us a bit about what does administering a federation entail lots of admin <laughs> yeah no, I think it's got many facets to it um, yeah, all the way from making sure that everything is in place to have community programs to have um, a competitions and events for your players to play all the way through to preparing the guys who want to be professional. So it's making sure that their lives are easier and that the things are in place for those, those to happen, those events to happen. And, and how much more difficult is it because you're dealing with disabled athletes? Everything is the same. There's nothing really different about a disabled athlete. The only challenge is when you come to uh, hotel rooms and um, and uh, transport because uh, not many vehicles and things are very um, disabled friendly. If you're flying somewhere, you, you only really can have two disabled per people on a, a plane at the same time. So it really is a bit more challenging to transport anybody somewhere. And many of the hotels are not adequately, um, yep. yeah, ca can cater for, uh, especially a group of uh, disabled athletes. Pochina, you are a netball star in your own right. <laughs> Welcome to the DJ Spoo Breakfast. Why netball though? Because I remember even the first time I met you, I was like, but you have the body to play any sport, really. Why netball in the end? Um, thank you for having me on the show. And why netball? I like being around people and it's such a lovely environment to be around girls. So, um, yeah, I started at a young age. It is a lovely environment to be around girls. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> so I started at a very young age and I just continued with it, I guess. So yeah, that's how I chose netball. Is that the only sport that you played though? No, I've done soccer, cricket, athletics. I, I have two brothers, so everything went. I want to touch on, before we move on to um, your personal journeys in sport, the issue of doping. And I know, Karen, you've worked in pharmaceuticals before. And my, my take is um, just around where, when do we forgive and forget? Justin Gatland wa uh, ran the 100 meters at the World Champs recently. He was booed at the starting blocks. He was booed during the race. He was booed after the race. And my thing is, if, the, if, if he's paid his dues because he was banned, do we say now every time we see him, it's going to be a bashing? Or do we get to a point where he's like, you've paid your dues, let's all move on? So that's a very difficult question I mean, I, I think it is up to every single person as a person whether they forgive and forget and let it carry on. Um, so yeah, I mean, I, I think it, re it depends where you come from. If you're an athlete or, or extremely passionate or maybe they don't excite you as much as an, as an athlete, you're probably not going to be so forgiven or forgiving. But I mean, if you, if you look at even just you know, people who are in, in, incarcerated in prison, they, they can reform, so why can't an athlete reform? So I think it really does depend on where you're coming from enough, whether you choose to forgive or not. And, and it seems like a bit of a double standard. We see Maria Sharapova back on the court, no one really booing her and mm. saying, you must get off the court as well, Gina. So at what point do we just, do you, you serve your time and you're back and we respect the fact that you're back and the law's taken its course? I think as Karen said, it's up to the individual, but as an athlete, all we really want to do is perform and show our talents. So it's never about always winning or doping at all. We don't, in well, intentionally do it. Some, obviously some of us do, but it's not the end game. It's just for us to show our talents and we just want to go back on court after doing wrong and still show that we still do have this talent and can mm -hmm. bring greater good to the world.